most of us are augmented today that are living in technological societies. You know, we have cars and cell phones and all these devices that uh, fundamentally change human capability. We can go from point A to point B very, very quickly. We can communicate. Uh, we have uh, computers that help assist our memory, for example. So augmentation technology is all around us. As we march into this 21st century, there'll simply be more and more technology that fundamentally change, changes our experience and what we're capable of experiencing. In today's society, we know a great deal about synthetic materials, for example, steel and plastics. We know how to architect devices out of those synthetic materials. There'll be a day, uh, you know, perhaps at the twilight years of the century, when we'll have that level of knowledge, both for synthetics as well as biological cells and tissues. You know, when that day arrives, when we go to build a machine, architect a machine, uh, sometimes the synthetic component will be better than a biologic component. Some, some components that won't be the case, but a biological component will be superior to any synthetic component. So what we'll end up with, I believe, is hybrid systems, this uh, blurring between synthetic constructs and biological constructs.